crypto market has been a mess. XRP did break to the downside for yesterday's candle close. However, you're watching, it is trying to get back in and to make that a fake out to the downside. Remember, last time we had a fake out to the downside, the price went back up to test the resistance. If that is what we are about to watch, then the price action is about to give it another try at 0 0.62, 0 0.63 levels. For this, you look at the Bitcoin. Are we watching a possible reversal signal? This is four hour chart in Bitcoin, which means it is short term. But in front of you, what you're watching is a short term Bitcoin chart highlighting a bullish divergence. So if you are watching a four hour chart giving you a breakout on a RSI bullish divergence level, it's positive. But then you have to zoom out. Then you have to look at the big picture to understand how high this can actually go and what may play out in the meantime in the entire altcoin ecosystem as well. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. What you're watching in front of you is a call which was showing you the idea, yeah, the whales are kind of giving you the idea that we would most likely break to the downside on a higher time frame. Then on a shorter time, it was showing you that it is forming a micro reversal pattern. So you had the bullish divergence, you had the breakout in the RSI, that's one of the reasons why we were saying the price action looks bullish. It was a falling wedge. Now, the follow-up for the SI family shows you this. We broke to the upside, the exact same pattern, but we broke to the upside with all the indicators highlighting short term are moving up. So in the SI family, you get all of this with a ton more others. Like there is a lot of different assets in the crypto market turning in as an opportunity. So we are going through all of that, breaking all of them down one by one and giving it directly to you in the SI family. Use the link in the description below to join the 1,200 plus members and ride this wave to the upside. Now, let's get directly in to these price action and what the market is trying to convey. So you are looking clearly at the three-day candle close. We just got that today. So today's three-day candle show you the fact that, okay, there was decent volume on the selling side. The price didn't actually drop much further. But yes, you also have to agree on the fact that we had a lot more selling volume here and the price did not drop and we had a little less in selling volume and the price dropped a bit further. So you're watching buyers is stepping in, but sellers are not yet giving up. A bounce off from this level would argue, yeah, the price is coming back up. It is about to travel another 10, 15% to the upside. Give it another try at the resistance. Now, while we argue with that point, we also have to understand weekly or a higher time frame structure will override the short term. So on a weekly, the weekly close, which we just saw here is not beautiful because that's a bearish engulfing candle. That means on a weekly, you're still pushing to the downside and you have some downside because clearly the weekly chart shows you the resistance is here. You're getting rejected at the resistance. The support which you should be eyeing is at the bottom. So any micro bounce here would most likely lead the price to the downside. So let's keep this simple, let's keep this short. You go up, you test the resistance, but most likely you are about to get rejected to retest the absolute bottom, right? Now we look at Bitcoin. On a three day, it is showing you, yeah, I can bounce, but if I don't break 64,000, 
I'm coming back down. Clear. Now that means XRP and other assets will try to push through. If Bitcoin breaks 64, it's a good sign and you will watch other assets like XRP and altcoins breaking their resistance. So XRP breaking 0.6 while Bitcoin breaking 64. If Bitcoin gets rejected there, you are about to come back down. See on a three day chart with the three day candle close, what can you really see? The three day candle gives you the idea there was a lot of selling pressure here on 28th candle, but they failed to push the price down. The very next candle here is forming a bullish hammer. So the price bouncing back is good because at this point, what you're watching is a Bitcoin price action showing you I'm trying to make it symmetrical. I'm not trying to go bearish. I'm not trying to go bullish. I'm trying to see who has more capacity, buying capacity, whether it's the bulls, whether it's the bears. They're trying hard. It tried to cross to the upside first time, got rejected. Second time, got rejected. So if you go back in history and look through that, whenever you get that close to the upside on the MACD side, that is where you get maximum momentum to that direction. On the weekly, you didn't yet get one cross to the upside. So you're still waiting for that. So on the three day chart, what XRP shows you is the same as Bitcoin, you got those volume, but the volume to price action doesn't look attractive, which means you had buying volume here, but the price didn't go higher. Again, buying volume and the price didn't go higher. So we now want to see when there is a little bit of selling, are we going down or are we holding on? If we're going down, that means sellers are very much active or buyers are stepping back in this asset. Short term traders, they're slowing down. That's going to be the clear equation there. Now on a macro, yes, the monthly is what you are looking at. The monthly picture for Bitcoin remains the same. All coins remains the same. You came back here, tested the moving average. Now you're looking for a bounce off. On the Bitcoin side of the equation, you're watching for a negative divergence. All of the history, all of the history, for Bitcoin gives you clear idea that you look for a top with negative divergence, not before that. Now we can look the same in the alt market as well. Wherever we are making a top, we get that negative divergence. We are not yet there. So if you think the market cycle is over, no, it's not yet. Yes, it is taking more time than anticipated. It is kind of flushing patience level for a lot of different guys. So don't try high risk bids. Keep it really small if you are trying to trade, make it 0.5% of your portfolio or lower and make sure the trend is valid. Make sure what the market shows you is accurate. And when the trend starts going back up, follow the market. You can trade with one, two, three, or even 5% of your portfolio in a trade. That's okay, but scale in, not just one position directly. One position, but scale in. That's the best approach. So you have the one, the two, the three. Now we are doing the A, B, C. So the moment you get a break to the upside here, that's the confirmation you are going much higher. So use that, wait for that. Before all of that happens, if you are in the market, yes, it's sure you will watch a lot of these volatility. You will watch assets are trying to break higher. You will watch breakouts. Like this, if you are looking at that breakout and saying, ah, I wanted to be in a trade. Yeah, XRP, SI family had the advantage. They got the call before it happened and it was explained well. I would think that the whales are trying to say you're going down, but then they are about to push the price higher first to trap a lot of people saying it's macro bullish, right? So macro to micro understanding that is going to be key when you are in the market. Say all the assets are not following that. When you go on to the ether side of the equation, it is still showing, yeah, it is trying to give you some bullish narrative. It is trying to give you three day candles slowly turning bullish. But remember, the price action has not met 
to the downside. The rectangular pattern has not been invalidated. If you are looking to go bullish on this, you want to see a bullish breakout, right? You're waiting for that. This is your RSI, you're waiting for the bullish breakout. You don't have that yet. So the price coming back down to this level would be the perfect opportunity, in my opinion, for Ether. And most likely, a lot of different alts would behave in a similar way. So you look at strong assets like Bitcoin. If it's bouncing off, that means, yeah, you're looking for a breakout. But if it doesn't break the major barrier on a short-term level, that is going to be this particular trend line, which would be around 63 to 64. If you don't break that barrier, it's negative. It's increasing momentum to the downside. If you break that barrier, it's good. Bulls are holding on and they're trying to push the price. So let's keep this simple. Don't go aggressive here. Until the market goes aggressive, you don't want to go aggressive. This is not the area to go aggressive. Remember, we went aggressive with the breakout here. We were not wrong. The market proved we were right. We took that opportunity and rode the market to get at 20x in that time horizon. Which means on wave 2, if the market is right, you're about to see similar strategy paying you off 40 to 60x on the average for general textbook pattern. And in crypto, the average is 5 times, which means 100x. So when you get the breakout and a confirmation, the market is about to go aggressive use that till that time be balanced keep your risk profile low understand what the market is doing be patient have the discipline and if you need help in doing all of that join the si family use the link in the description below to reach me and do a one-on-one -on -one session understand what you're doing have your portfolio's position and are you ready for this write-off if your asset is breaking lower from a macro support it doesn't look positive i'm saying this there are because there are few assets which are doing that right now in the SF family you guys already know it but if it's someone new listening to this understand there are some assets raising red flag while a lot of others are showing you bull mode is about to get started so use that for your advantage ride it as much as possible so guys if you receive value smash that like button for me i'll meet you guys on next video bye for now